It got your attention, didn't it? You know why Jesus was convincing? Because he didn't judge anyone. He didn't. Jesus is bringing judgment up to his throne. Who are you out here judging, bud? How come you judging then? Do not judge, let's be judged. You need to read 1 Corinthians 5 and 6. Here it is. because they don't know Christ. That's what he's saying. So why are you oh. so why are you judging the world that doesn't well, know Christ? Why in the world did God give us his word? He gave us the word to tell you to not to, ju to not judge the world. Okay. Because the world does not need judgment, they need grace. Yeah, they need Let judgment run down his water and righteous as a mighty stream. Famous five four. Why are you holding signs of confession? <laughs> What do you got to repent of if you don't do nothing wrong? If anyone's judging, it's God. Oh, but you are not following what's following. You know why? I'm speaking out against the Pharisees. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Oh, Pharisee now. <laughs> what do you think the Pharisees were? It's like, it's like the world day, the religious folks. I tell you what, folks. you don't got to do that after me and then take the side. Just break it up and throw that down. How many of you go to the bars? <laughs> go to the bar. We don't go to no bar. We try to keep people out of bars. You know people who are lost? <laughs> well, I know a whole lot of people lost right here. If anybody puts a bottle to his uh, mouth, them, he's lost. How many of them are your friends? Uh, friends ain't got nothing to do with it. We're out here how witness. How many of them are your friends? How many sinners and fornicators and idolaters are your friends? They probably they don't they don't run with us. They are probably not Jesus our friends. How come Jesus went to the Pharisees' house? How come Jesus went to the bars? How come Jesus went to the weddings and drank wine with them? Why? Where did he drink wine? He made the wine. They called him that. You know why they called him that? Because he hung out with them. Why aren't you hanging out with them? Why aren't you being a good example? Well, you think I'm going in the bar and I can be a sample of somebody sitting at the bar stool drinking beer and pouring yeah, the gate you can be and committing sodomy? You can be the character of God. Where, where, where do you go to church at? I'd like to know. I'd like to meet your pastor. He must be a Fruit Loop. Our pastor uh -huh. doesn't call himself pastor. He's a servant. Oh, a servant. Was he a bishop? He's in Tokyo. Or is he a pope? He's, he's you know what? You know what a wine bibber is. They call him a wine bibber. They call him all sorts of things. You know why? He made the wine. Where did he drink it at? He was a wine bibber. Oh really? Yes. Do you know what? Do you know why in Tokyo visiting our visiting our mission? I went to a bar last night. I went to Vietnam, you know where I went? Bar? Well, no doubt. I went to a brothel. A what? A brothel. Yeah. That's a drunk fest. Why I went to a brothel? Why? Because I wanted to buy a whore a drink and talk to her and show her that men are, that I, that God wants more from her than just her body. Uh -huh. I was showing her love, I was showing her grace. Well, that's good. In a bar. In a bar. Judging the world when Paul says in Corinthians, for you not to judge the world. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. First Corinthians. 
Are you sure you wasn't drinking the bar like that? When I went over to five and six, if you reread it all, reread it, and you can reread it, he's saying to you, judge the church because they know better, but do not judge the world because they don't know better. They don't have to. Yeah, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing about the drunk or the prostitute or harlot or or the sodomite they about their they sin. You know why? You know why people listen to Jesus? Because he was the friend. They trusted him. How many people around here do you think trust you? Uh, what, what do you think about Jesus calling them whitey sepulchers? He uh, called them out about whitewashed stink. tombs because they stood up and did that. And that what, what, they hey, didn't have any love for the what do you, what do you, what do you think about the religious people? That's, that's exactly the Pharisees. The religious got religion, but they ain't got the Christianity. Don't you know nothing religion, about being born again. You got the signs, but you don't got the grace. Yeah. My pastor, God showed God showed the, the, the need for him to my pastor through a Freddy Krueger movie. My pastor was... Oh, I'm watching pastor, movies now. Was, <laughs> Tootie Fruity Moody. My pastor was in sin, right? He was in sin. And then He's he, still in sin, I guess. And then, he, and then he was watching that movie. And Freddy Krueger, dang Oh, the, this, the power of God really come through that, but hypocrites. He, he was watching this movie, right? Yeah, right. And, and Freddy Krueger was dangling on this boy like, like a puppet, right? Yeah. At that moment, God told my pastor that he was a puppet. Oh. Sin. Did that help so him? So don't you think that helped him? He's not He's not a drunkard anymore. Well, good. Appreciate he that. She knows why. Now you know that. Because it, it's his character. Oh, his character. Which none of, none of these people around here know your character because you don't want to a bunch of uh, no, Hollywood. Associate with them. Man, I'm set. It's a watchman of the law. And if a watchman is in the show, then fell off the one in the fifth. Turn from her wicked ways. And how many do you think are going to listen without you being the friend? Uh, you're listening. <laughs> we got your attention. You're doing pretty good. Because I used to be one of you. Oh, you're different now. What what kind of Christian are you now? I used to be one of you. Yeah. <laughs> really. I don't. We can witness yeah. to them without yeah. being partakers with them, and we'd look good out there stepping on. Uh, some cup of wine, a bottle of wine, or a glass of wine, and trying to witness somebody. That'd be a good example. That'd be an example in faith, in purity, in charity. Jesus did that. That's why they called him a wine bibber, a drunkard. And I, that's, I, I, why do you? I, it, re it really hurts me, not because. What's your name? My name is Jonathan. Jonathan. It really hurts me. Because I know you have good intentions. But just go be a friend to someone. And then they'll listen to you. Do you do you not understand that? Yeah, if I go up and put my arm around a lesbian night and say, Man, I really love you, honey. Uh, yeah.